Hiya. I am going to dump Premiere for a bit because I, I'm i not working in... Uh, I'm not working in video editing at the moment. I've, I've got a different job in programming. So it's not really, um, it's not really value for money if I'm just, if I'm, if I'm paying for it just for bidding. So I'm going to move to DaVinci Resolve, which is this application, which is great. It's an amazing application. And I was just thinking like, oh, I've got all these like massive, massive projects that I've made like for Game of Thrones and that, although let's not talk about Game of Thrones at the moment, but anyway, I've got all these projects that I don't want to lose because I've got all my lovely clips and that, and my pancake timelines, like I showed you in that video, pancake timelines, which of course you watched. So how do I transport this project, which is a really complex project, you know, it's got loads of different timelines, it's got like 75 hours of footage, it's a massive thing, I don't want to do this again. But I want, I want to take it with me. So what do I do? Well, it's just like I dumped Final Cut when it went to Magnetic Timeline and went to Premiere. And I did that mid-project. Um, I was making a vid called Flow at the time. And I started that in Final Cut and I finished it in Premiere. And so here's the thing to understand about all of these nonlinear editors, which is actually really useful for when you're doing effects as well, is that you can export your video project. A video project is not just a video, it's also an XML data list, a decision list of, it's like a path, like a really complicated path between files, around files, right? So you can export that in a load of different formats. Here we are in Premiere. I can export that as Final Cut Pro XML. I can um, export it as an edit decision list. I can just export the markers, which is super useful for After Effects, um, because you can also, one of the things you can do with those markers is you can export the notes and you can use the notes to drive code. It's great. Anyway, Final Cut Pro XML or add, I think that's added, Avid, Avid something format and Avid Log Exchange. Right, we can choose one of these. I don't know which is the best. I'm going to go with AAF. Just use the defaults. Here's the dead here. See, I'm trying a few different things. Oh yeah, because Final Cut Pro will do that. Right, we're going to save that file as an AAF file, which is just, we've just selected this timeline and we're exporting it. And then if we go into DaVinci, go to File, Import Timeline, Import, and then it's just, you know, any of those. What did we say? The dead. Click OK. And there it is. It's all there. Nothing is lost. And nothing of value is lost. Yeah, that's that. So you can just, you have to do it one by one, unfortunately. You can't, I don't think you can batch import, which is a bit annoying. But obviously you're all organised anyway, aren't you? Into character and elements and motion and stuff. So uh, <laughs> it won't be a problem. <laughs> of course. Uh, one of the things about this is that, of course, you're breaking out these timelines into files, into explicit files. So it might be an interesting time to do some uh, multi-fandom stuff. Maybe mix it up a bit. Be interesting, right? 